The new administration takes over today and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is out with its business wish list. Joining us now is Neil Bradley, Executive VP and Chief Policy Officer at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The nation, as you know, Neil, dealing with a tremendous economic disruption because of the pandemic. Can you tell us about the results of your new economic report on the business outlook for recovery in 2021? Yeah, you're exactly right, Angie. At the U.S. Chamber, one of the things that we did was we went out and surveyed 37 different industries, and we asked them, how are you doing today relative to pre-pandemic, and what's the outlook for 2021? And what we found was it's a really a tale of two economies. Half, half of those 37 industries told us that they're doing as well or better today than they were pre-pandemic. Of course, the other side of that coin is that means that the other half of the industries are doing worse, in some instances, much worse. And you know, all the data bears this out. There are 10 million fewer jobs today than there were than there were last February. But 40% of those lost jobs are in the leisure and hospitality industry. And so really the key to our national recovery is helping those hard hit industries get back on their feet, beating this pandemic, and then making the investments in the future that we need to make to help our economy grow. How do business leaders plan to work with the Biden administration? What would be the key to getting some of those issues done, including infrastructure, immigration, and... Well, so we have a new president, we have a new administration, uh, we have a relatively new Congress took uh, took office a couple weeks ago, uh, and it is closely divided. In fact, 50-50 in the Senate, 50 Republicans, 50 Democrats, it doesn't get any closer than that. So the key for the Biden administration and for Congress is they're going to have to work together on a bipartisan basis. We're not going to get anything done unless it has the support of Republicans and Democrats. So, for example, we've called on Congress and the Biden administration to give us an infrastructure bill, to get an infrastructure bill passed into law by the 4th of July. And we're convening Republicans and Democrats. We're we're putting them at a, because it's 2021, we're putting them at a virtual table. And we're saying, Tell us how you're going to work together to help get some of this done. And that's really going to be the key. I'm pretty bullish about uh, what Congress and the Biden administration can do together. And with just a little bit of support from Washington and the right policies, 2021 could be a pretty good year economically. Does the U.S. Chamber of Commerce have any concerns and what is on that wish list? Yeah, our, our biggest concern is overregulation and, and just a change up in regulation. You know, businesses are having to navigate the pandemic. They're having to, if they're in those industries that are hurt, the economic downturn. The last thing that we need is a changing rules, whether that's coming out of state capitals or our nation's capitals, where everyone's kind of got to hit the pause button on doing uh, what they do best, which is run their business to figure out the new rules from some government agency. So the caution, the real caution um, that we've been conveying to the Biden administration is, you know, focus on the recovery, focus on the pandemic, focus on the investments like infrastructure that we need to to make and, you know, put the brakes on uh, any regulatory changes. Thank you very much, Neil. We will be watching. Thanks so much for having me. Happy New Year. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.